Ready to start filling the pool. Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh, over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Oh, watch out! Oh, oh no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob, where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Tutun. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Lofty. But we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy while we're fixing the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on. Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madison is out all day, and you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing around without a care in the world. Okay, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixum Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh. Well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Oh, dear. This thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, it can't be right. Maybe this one. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, this large one must be part of the, uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, uh, what about this small one, then? It's part of the tail, isn't it? Uh, uh, or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width all mixed up. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big puzzle, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it all apart. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that piece goes. Oh, yes, splendid, splendid. Now, we've got no time to lose. Let's get this figured out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No, wait. What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? Cooper! 
Now what? Cooper, that's a good boy. Give me the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. Oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. Ah, if only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What, like a tasty scrumptious sandwich? But, but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... Well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sandwich. Come on, boy. No, Sappy, wait! This is pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place, making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. OK? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are ready. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? Uh, that. That's what's going to happen. Uh, can you help me clean them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to deal with them later. Come on, let's go. Well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. All done, Wendy. Poured to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets, and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing! How's it going, Hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall, and then reseal the window. <laughs> Some hero I am. Ah! Help! What was that? Oh, no! Sappy! Why were you up there, Saffy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! Oh, what have I done? Don't worry, Saffy. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous! Oh, I can't reach it! Too far down. Oh. I'll lower you. Bob, get me out of here. for things to set properly. Now we don't have a clubhouse. We've still got time to fix it. Right, Wendy? Abracadigga, a la Cazella. Um, come on. Hmm. Make the balls change. That actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes. It's awesome. Do it again, Scoop. Yeah, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, okay, then. Africa, I like a... Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa. Scoop, what 
What have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can build it in time. So, team, let's get to work. It's already Chef Taddy, but I'm afraid we can't fix the conveyor belt without ordering new parts. But how am I going to move the food around to my diners? Uh, Chef Tatty, I think I could help. Great work, Scoop. You make a marvelous waiter. Nearly as good as my conveyor belt. Thanks, Chef Tatty. What is the matter, Scoop? I'm glad I can help Chef Tatty, but I didn't get to wow my friends with a magic trick like you did. I see. A budding magician, are you? Oh, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside the muck? Uh, let's see. Mm, Mr. Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. Anish had oh. soccer balls and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr. Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the sports, sports stadium. stadium. Oh, Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the sports stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Two-Ton. Just not quite the one I was expecting. No, that shouldn't have happened. Ah, oh, hi, guys. Hi, Sky. You probably guessed. There's been a big mix-up. Your sports equipment is at the museum. How did I make such a mistake, Bob? It's my fault, Two-Ton. I picked out the wrong container at Roland's. So, now we know where everything's meant to be. These movie props go to the film studio, the furniture to the town hall, the statues to the museum, and the sports equipment comes here. Got it, Bob. Now let's pack up that shark and get rolling. Whoa! This is so cool! <gasps> Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning! My own ride! Is it ready, Bob? Tell me it's ready! Yes, Dash, it's all ready. We're waiting for you to try it out first. And let's roll! Wendy, you can sit right here. <laughs> hey, Bob, come on! This carriage has my face on it! That's super! I'm so excited, I can't wait to see what I've done! Everyone ready? Someone press a button. Let's go! Zoom. Boom! Lightning strikes twice. Wow! This is from Cretaceous Park. Mega Dino Attack. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's my space robot and rocket from Space Robots 3. I recognize this. It's from Shark Tooth, the return of Bruce. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. Ooh, uh, tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Oh. 
Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Maybe he wants to go home. Uh, uh, uh oh! oh, 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 oh. Help! Bob, do something fast! Whoa! Go, oh. oh. got it. Pilchard, care for a sardine sandwich a la Bob for dinner? At least someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive, and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mayor Madison's the guest of honor, and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourists from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Muck. Hello, Muck. It speaks. Leo? And Pilchard! Lofty, you should see all the cool stuff Muck and I collected. Really? Oh, yeah, we were going to take it to the recycle yard, but then I had this great idea to start a collection of stuff. <gasps> That's awesome! Muck's looking after it. Want to come and see? Oh, okay. Lofty! Uh oh. I need you to help me lift these two mast sections together, please. Oh, okay. Coming, Bob. I'll see it later, Scoop. Huh? Oh, wow! Some old railings and a wooden ball! Amazing! Wait until Muck sees this! <laughs> uh, are you sure Bob said this was going to the recycling yard, Scoop? Um, Bob was busy. But anyway, I'm going to collect loads more stuff. Oh, so am I! Okay, great. Now we just need to fix the crow's nest back on, and we're done. Hang on. There's only half of it here. Where's the other half gone? Uh, it was here earlier when I was talking to Scoop about how he's been collecting things. Scoop? Collecting things? Oh, no. You don't think he could have taken it, do you, Lofty? Uh, well, uh, I suppose, um... Hello, Mr. Bentley. Oh, hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'll be along soon to see that lovely ship all fixed up. Uh, okay. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Bentley. Okay, we really do need to find Scoop. And fast. Oh, where can he be? It's Bob. We can't find Scoop anywhere, Bob. Okay, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Muck! Oh, hello, Bob. Muck, do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. 
Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. Oh, I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Slowly. Hold it there. Perfect. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary. Like, like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So, I'm gonna go. I'm going. Now. Go! <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? It's just the wind again. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop? Scoop! What's wrong? This is the scariest job ever. Are you all right? What happened? This way, Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. Oh, Scoop, no. You saw the model T-Rex skeleton, that's all. Tutan just delivered it. Oh, oh, it really scared me. Actually, Bob, I've been scared all day, to be honest. But I didn't want to say anything because I wanted my friends to think I was brave. Scoop, it's okay to be scared. Oh, I still think you're brave. Oh, thanks, guys. Now, do you see, things are never really scary. Like the hedgehog and the wind. We just imagined that they were scary. Exactly. Now, come on. Visitors will be arriving soon, and we've got a boneyard to finish. Like it, Scoop? But, Mark, what about camping? I don't like it. Let's go back and finish the path. Of course, we can go back. No problem. Follow me. Uh. I mean, follow me this way. Uh. Hmm. What's wrong, Scoop? You do know the way back, don't you? Um, uh, well, uh. Mm, uh no. <gasps> that means we're lost! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm brilliant at outdoor skills. Let me think. Um, when you're lost, you... Um... You don't know what to do, do you? Yes, I do. Um, when you're lost, you... Uh, you... Yes! Oh, you send out an SOS, like this! <gasps> beep, beep, beep. Huh? What's that? It sounds like Scoop sending an SOS. But I thought he was working on the path with Muck. Scoop and Muck aren't here. 
Right. Lofty? Come on, let's go and find him. Yes, Bob. It's coming from over there. Righto. Now we just have to wait. Um, care for a sing song? Not really, no. Scoop! <gasps> Mom! <gasps> where are you? That's Bob! Over here! Over here! Found you! <laughs> Scoop? Muck? What happened? I wanted to go on a hiking and camping adventure, Bob. I thought I could just go. I didn't know there was so much to learn. Well, yes. A camping trip needs to be prepared. And you must always tell someone where you're going. Scoop knew the signal for help, Bob. Yes, you're right, he did. Well done, Scoop. Thank you. Now, come on. The campsite is due to reopen soon. We need to get back. Yeah, let's go finish the park. Are we gonna make a film today, Bob? We're going to help make a film, Shifter. Ooh, what's it called? Danger House, starring... Uh-oh. Huh? Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning? Dash Lightning! Uh, hi, guys. Sorry, Bob. I just love all your building stuff, so... I couldn't resist having a look. And then these, and... Actually, I knocked them over. Oh, let me clean up! We'll help you, Dash. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Bob, we really can't have Dash around while we're working. I know he wants to help, but he'll get in the way. And there could be another accident if we're not careful. Hmm. Leo? Yes, Bob? Would you like to look after Dash and keep him out of the way while we build the set? You could teach him all about building safety. He'll be really interested in that. Me? Be Dash's safety instructor? Yeah! <laughs> I'm on it! Uh, Dash, can you come to the workshop with me, please? The workshop? Where you keep all your tools? Oh! <laughs> okay, team. Time to get started. So now we're going to build the entrance hall set of Danger House. Awesome. Amazing! So, team. Can we build it? Yes, we can! How's it looking, Wendy? Almost there! Keep the balcony steady, Lofty. Keeping it steady. Right, Bob. The rod's in position now. Okay, thanks, Wendy. Okay, Dash. Safety lesson one. Know your tools. Awesome! Can't wait! So, to be a safe builder like Bob, you have to handle your tools very... <gasps> Ouch! Carefully? Yeah. Amazing! Right. Now, let's test the remote control and the winch motor. Okay, I'm ready, Wendy. Lofty, don't let go of the balcony, okay? But those rods are supposed to hold it up. Why do I still need to hold it? Uh, you'll soon see. Come on, partner! Let's head them off at the pass! Hey. Not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. 
Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I... And they're in top gear. Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <gasps> it's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. I didn't know you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. <gasps> well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing to it but hard work and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Muck back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep? Hang on, Bob. Listen, listen, listen. The ship! And Captain Bentley! I haven't connected the engine yet! He's going to drift out to sea! Back up, Lofty! Quick as you can! Yes, Bob. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Off we go, Lofty! Follow that ship! Mr. Bentley, drop the anchor! I... I don't know how! I'll stop it, Bob! <laughs> oh, missed. I can't reach! What? I can't reach! What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up! It's time to find your sea legs! Jump in, Landlubber! It's all a dream, a terrible dream! Help me, Horatio! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! Oh, thank goodness for that! A rescue party! Ahoy there! There he is, she goes! Here I am, Bob! Ah. Hold on! Thank goodness you're here, Bob. <laughs> How do we drop the anchor? Like this. There. Let's hope it holds on the riverbed. Whoa! Yeah! You did it, Bob. Well done. Not bad for a landlubber. I'm sorry I interfered with your work. When it comes to building, you're the captain. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. I might keep the hat, though. Can we go back now? Whoa. The sooner, the better. Land ahoy! Yay! Now, 
team. We've got a ship to make ship shape. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Shifter? Oh, wow. Is my garage that one on the roof with the elevator? That's amazing. Oh, please say it's that one, Bob. Please. Hold on cause... a minute, Shifter. Oh, we've got something to tell you. What is it? Is it about my new garage? Can I sleep in it tonight? Well, yes, you can. Yay! Because it's built already, you see. What? No, no, look. You, you've only just started these. The thing is, Shifter, it's not one of these garages. It's in the other yard, the main yard. The one you work in. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, it's really exciting, Shifter. It really is. Yes! It's so great, Shifter. We're gonna share my garage. Share? What, what you mean? But... Isn't it amazing? Does that mean I won't have my own garage? Well, sort of. I mean, we'll be sharing. So it'll belong to both of us, really. Oh, but I... That's not... Um... But Shifter... Shifter? Uh-oh. I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. We'll have so much fun together. Think of all the games we can play. Shifter? Oh, dear. What's wrong? Please leave me alone, Dizzy. No, Shifter, listen! Oh! Well, if you're gonna be like that, I don't want to share with you anyway. But I didn't ask to share with anyone. I was just looking forward to... Oh! Shifter's really upset. I'd better go and talk to him. Thanks, Wendy. Good luck. Share a garage anyway, Lofty. I mean, I'd rather be on my own, really, instead of having someone get in my way all the time. That's not what you were saying before, Dizzy. Before you were saying how much fun it would be. Well, it won't be now, will it? Because Shifter spoiled everything. I don't think that's fair, Dizzy. Thanks, Lofty. It's not that Shifter doesn't want to share with you. Huh? He's just upset because he thought he was getting his own garage. Oh. And it was me that got his hopes up in the first place, wasn't it? You're right, Lofty. This isn't Shifter's fault at all. Dizzy, did Shifter bring over that new box of bolts? I need it now. Yes, he did, Bob. But he's still carrying it around with him. Okay. I'll have to go and get it. Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter okay? Well done, Scoop. That was your big moment. Well done! My camera drone! Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. Okay, Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's okay, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is 
just going to be on camera explaining what's going on. Hey? Eh? Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I'm ready for my big mo... Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. <laughs> yes, you can. Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! Well done, everyone! Wendy, you were great! You're much better on camera than me. Nor me. <laughs> Thanks, it was fun. And we finished just in time, too. All the horses will be arriving soon to take part in the Spring City Gold Cup. Oh, no! How am I going to film the race without my camera drone? I'll never get all the shots I need. Um, I think I know how you can film it. Do you have any idea where Trev is? Yeah, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can? Or my fish could go bad and be ruined. I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, okay, great, Bob. Bye, I gotta roll. No, wait, Tread, come back. Oh. Chef Taddy's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going bad. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. Oh. Ah, Tread, there you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Taddy. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Mmm, it doesn't smell bad. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello. Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> Hello? Hi, Wendy. It's Chef Chatty. Are you by any chance staring at a fish? What on earth is going on? So, Bob, you've got the control panel, and Chef Teddy has the tiles. And Wendy has the fish, which will be spoiled soon if it isn't refrigerated. And someone still needs to pick up Leo and the cupboard and drop them off at the sushi bar. I'm sorry, Bob. I should have told you. I was getting too busy. It's not your fault, Tread. Wendy and I should have picked up the right boxes. Well... I still tried to do too much, and I wouldn't let anyone help. Oh, I suppose I'll just have to cancel the festival. If only I let Muck and Scoop help. They kept asking. Wait a minute. Maybe they still could, if they're not too busy. Good idea, Tread. Can we fix this? Yes, we can! <laughs> 